Woo. So we've got some interesting cards in this one, I must say, Aries. Um, the card on the bottom here is Devil. Devil card. Do, do, do. Uh, as we see, this lady devil here has three. I don't know if they're babies or imps or cherubs or whatever they are. But they clearly have collars on and she has leashes on them. Um, now... <clears throat> If you'll see this collar right here, it's big enough. He could just lift it up over his head and get out of her grasp. Uh, but he doesn't do so because he may not be aware of that. Like so many of our vices, um, we don't realize how we become enslaved to them over time if we're not careful. This can be addiction. This can be unhealthy or toxic relationship or persons. This can be any kind of thing that we put, uh, anything we make our higher power. Uh, can really be represented in this devil card. Anything that's too darn important to us as well. So we will see how this plays out um, as we get to the rest of the cards. So let me do that and we'll have a better perspective perhaps for the influence that devil card has in your reading. So Aries, we start off here with lover's card. The lover's card is the Gemini card. Uh, it's a card of duality. Uh, it's represented here by the number six. And in this card, we can see here this lady who's sitting in the bed, she's reading a letter from her boyfriend and his card or excuse me, his picture's right there in black and white at the tip of my index finger. Um, she's got a vampire jumping in the window right here and she's kind of intrigued uh, because her nice boyfriend who looks good on paper doesn't incite her passion the way this vampire leaping through the window does. The dog is looking to her to know what to do here. Um, the lover's card can be just that. It can be lovers, soulmates, twin flame. Uh, then again, it could be that conflict, that ambivalence that people feel, that that need to make a head versus heart decision like the gal in the bed here. Her head is telling her that the guy makes more sense in the photograph, uh, but her heart is telling her who's a sexy vampire coming in the window here. So um, either way, this can be about making a big decision, head or heart decision right? In love or in some other area. <clears throat> now we look here at the Seven of Ghosts card. Uh, the Seven of Ghosts has to do with options. And uh, the person here down below that's holding the cat on his shoulder has lots and lots of different um, fantasy ideas. This is a person who's not yet ready to commit to any one way or one person or one idea with that, but it's rather um, kind of having wishful thinking about some of the options in life, some of the things that he or she can attain, right? So again, we see here this head or heart decision, and we also see lots and lots of options. So the person might be thinking, yeah, I'd like to um, fall in love and get married, but you know, playing around, playing the field sounds fun too at the same time. So this may be a person who really doesn't know yet which way he or she wants to go but they have lots of options for doing it. <clears throat> and then here we see the page of pumpkins and pumpkins is the earth sign here. So that's Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn to earth element. And the page is a student typically. Now this one looks a little bit like when Wednesday from the Adams family. Um, but this is someone who's curious about the world the earth, the way it works. She's put her books down and she's learning from the things in the world, which is much like a scholar does. Children, they learn uh, they learn about physics from playing outside, you know, if they're not strapped to a computer. But um, they do, they learn a lot that way. Um, and this has to do also with the beginning of a business enterprise, kind of getting those ideas for that. Again, maybe not... Um, the Knight of Pumpkins would be going out to take that energy of knowledge and um, test it in the real world where this person's still studying. And that is a similar energy to what we saw here in the Seven of Ghosts, where the person is looking at things, contemplating things, but not yet really um, able to commit either way, right? Same thing with this lady. There's no commitment here. She's simply looking to see what will happen next. The longer she waits, though, the more loss of choice she actually will have, right? Because that vampire is going to have his own decisions to make. He looks a lot more decisive uh, than she does at this point. But let's play the tape through here. So we have a person who's um, conflicted, has a lot of different options and so forth, but isn't really sure you know, what to do with that. Now, there's a lot of options. And then we see here the three of ghosts. 
Now, um, this is the energy that's being moved from the lovers into the three of ghosts energy. So this could be um, as in lovers and marriage and the celebration of that. Um, or it could be the person's contemplating that lover and it winds up being a third party situation. Remember, if she gets out of that bed with the vampire, if they go off together, uh, this guy, I think his name is Jonathan from the Bram Stoker Dracula book. But um, this guy, uh, Jonathan, is going to be left out in the cold. That will be a third party situation, right? So there's a potential there that that's what it could be. So be careful who you've got your eyes on right now, Aries. Uh, bad karma is um, very easy to create. Uh, Empress card here. Uh, she's the number three card uh, in the deck. She's the female companion to the Emperor card. Uh, although the energy is pretty fluid here either way. Uh, she just has more to do with the Mother Earth type energy. Um <clears throat> And in this, she's really the quintessential woman. You know, she's, in spite of the fact that they've got the Bride of Frankenstein playing her, right? Um, but she's kind of the, the quintessential woman. She's the, the queens of all the other four decks are, are really embodied. She has a balance, a positive balance of each of those elemental energies. And um, she is someone who's the, the loving wife and mother. Um, she doesn't just run a household. She's an empress, right? She's a businesswoman and a family woman, and she's got it all going on. Again, emphasis is not specifically woman, but it is a, a maternal energy type uh, card. And this empress, um, i trying to think here. Um, I'm drawing a blank. If there's a, let's see, Aries is associated with emperor, uh, so it, actually, this energy could possibly be something related to you, um, although Aries is typically a masculine sign. Uh, but either way, uh, this could be your dream mate in, uh, represented in this card here. And the sun certainly is a very joyous card. The sun's the happiest card in the deck. Can be associated with Leo, but not necessarily so. But when we look at these three things together, we're looking at joy, happiness, reunion, Right? Love. Love for someone that's a woman that's got it all. Happiness. Right? Whatever it is that you're wanting and you're thinking about, you're really thinking it's going to be this great celebration over here. Um, and it does look like it's going to be quite happy for you. I, I flipped those, didn't I? <clears throat> nope. Sorry. I don't have time to back it up and go see um, the Empresses of the Metal. Uh, so you're coming out of that place and possibly making a decision on one person. But again, there may be consequences to that because I'm not 100% positive that she's available. And it looks like you're wanting to start up something earthly with someone, but you're not sure exactly how you want to go about that. And see, now I'm looking at this card. This is kind of the on your mind final outcome card. We've got somebody stealing the trick-or-treaters Halloween candy. So there's very much a disappointment and loss because somebody else stole this away. So again, <laughs> what is this, Aries? This looks like you're, whoops, sorry, I'm, I'm not even well in frame. This kind of looks like you're contemplating a third party situation with somebody who belongs to someone else. That's kind of how it's reading. And this Empress, she may be awesome, you know, but um, it may come at a price. You know, this is a card about your ships coming in. This is typically a good card for business, finance, material gain. But in this, I almost wonder if it's not your just desserts coming home here a little bit. Just be careful of the karma involved, you know, when you step out with somebody, if that's what you're actually thinking. So page of pumpkins to the sun. You know, you want to begin something earthly with someone. And there is a sense of success and waiting for those ships to come in. Uh, but... Let's look, to at this card here, the Four of Bats. The Four of Bats is someone who's rest, meditation, peaceful contemplation. So you may get what you want, but is it based on ego or is it based on real love? And while you're waiting for your ship to come in, there's going to be that sense of meditation and so forth. But this is a thought of a theft. Maybe there's a time you have to wait because that person is getting out of another relationship. So... <clears throat> At this point, I'm circling back to this devil card and thinking, um, be careful with what you serve. Watch what you serve. Watch what you worship. 
um, because we can become ensnared or possessed by or enslaved to um, to people and things that are not necessarily good for us. Ill-gotten gains. Well, there's an old saying about it, but I can't remember how it goes. It's like ill-gotten gains. All right. Um, this card assures you that a positive health change is occurring as a result of prayer, positive thinking, and divine intervention. Your faith is rewarded in an unexpected and happy way. It's time to remain positive and release any fear to God and the angels. They have heard and answered your prayers. Although the outcome may differ from your expectations, nonetheless, you'll uncover great blessings from this situation. And most of all, Archangel Raphael is helping you find peace right now for serenity is the greatest foundation for your health. Possible specific meanings. Contact a prayer group to pray for the situation. Ask Archangel Raphael to boost your faith. Use only positive words and phrases to describe your health. And affirm daily, I am healthy in all ways right now. And then your prayer um, on the card reads, Dear God and Archangel Raphael, Thank you for your miraculous intervention and healing energy, which has restored the health of, and then insert the name of the person you've been praying for. Um, 